There are two types of draft cocktail system that differ in the purpose they serve and the models of equipment they use. The first is the system for still cocktails like the margarita, tequila old fashioned or Patron Reseda. The second is the system for carbonated cocktails like the Paloma, Patron Ranch Water or El Diablo. Despite what kind of system you are using at their core, they are all acquire three key components. Gas, liquid, the cocktail, and cooling. Let's talk about gas. Cocktail draft systems use carbon dioxide, CO2, nitrogen, or a mix of both that depends on the needs and style of the cocktail that is being served. Gas must have a source. This could be a bulk gas storage or a gas tank. I highly recommend that a CO2 or nitrogen tank of five pounds or more is to be used. CO2 is a gas that will take liquid form at a certain pressure and temperatures. This gas is what we use to both carbonate and serve fizzy cocktails. One five pound CO2 tank is usually enough to carbonate and serve six or more five gallon corny cacks. If you want to serve steel draft cocktails, you will need this high strength aluminum nitrogen gas tank and use 100% food grade nitrogen or a CO2 nitrogen gas blend. Nitrogen molecules are smaller than carbon dioxide and will not absorb into the solution as readily. Also note that nitrogen is still a gas inside the tank, not a compressed liquid like CO2. So a small tank of nitrogen will be depleted at a much faster rate. Installing a nitrogen generator might be a good idea. The next important part related to gas is the regulator. It takes pressure of the gas off the top of the tank and reduces it to a lower control pressure. The regulator attaches to the tank with a female hex piece. The pressure going into the regulator is generally around 500 to 900 psi depending on the temperature of the tank and you are able to control the pressure that the gas is applying into the cag typically in the range of 1 to 60 psi. The body of the regulator has two gauges. The one on top is adjustable pressure and the one on the side reads the pressure of the gas in the source tank. For systems that utilize CO2, you must use a CO2 tank and CO2 regulator. For nitrogen, it's nitrogen tank and nitrogen regulator. The only real difference is a different thread size. Let's move on to the next component, liquid also known as your cocktail. Most draft systems use the gases mentioned above to drive cocktails from the keg through tubing to the faucet, where it flows onto the serving glass. Cocktail kegs enable cocktails to be batched in bulk and dispensed by a single serve while maintaining quality and integrity. Keg design protects cocktails from both air and light. When tapped, the keg's valve admits the gas in the headspace where it applies the pressure needed to push the cocktail up through the down tube and out of the keg through the ball lock connector while maintaining correct carbonation if the cocktail is carbonated. The type of keg used for the cocktails is known as Cornelius keg or soda keg. The gas regulator and keg are connected by the gas line, a special gas tubing that is attached to the regulator on one side and a gas in post on the keg using ball or pin lock quick disconnects. The third and final component is cooling. The cooling system should hold the cocktail at consistent temperature from keg to glass. Any increase in cocktail temperature between the cooler and the faucet can lead to dispensing problems such as foaming. The cocktail is pushed out of the keg into the faucet through the beverage line made from quarter inch barrier tubing or sometimes vinyl lines. The line is attached to the keg's liquid outpost using ball or pin lock quick disconnects and connected to the faucet on the other side. 